Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. Today we are going to talk all about opacities and why they're important for your bloom. And I want to try something new that I'm going to call, I don't know if I'm going to call it yet anything because I don't know if it's going to work, but bullseye cells. So a few years ago when I started the bloom journey, I started, and I'm not a scientist, but I started to realize that different opacities create different um, cell structures and cell looks. And I came up with the term peacock cells. And a peacock cell is when you have one cell and there's other paints breaking through and um, causing multi-layered cells. And they're not always easy to get, but one of the ways to get them is through making sure that you're layering an opaque over your other paints. Now, opaques are very dangerous if you're a beginner bloomer. Um, I wouldn't play with them just yet because you have to be very sparing with them. But let's talk about what opaque is and what transparent, semi-transparent and semi-opaque. Um, I'll show you like a few different paint brands just so you get the idea. Basically, when you have an opaque paint, no light can come through. So this is Amsterdam Expert Series. So the Amsterdams are very easy because they have a box. So this box means that it is opaque, no lights coming through. Um, let me show you another Amsterdam here. This Amsterdam, which is the copper, has half the box, which means semi-opaque. To And to me, semi-opaque and semi-transparent no big deal, either one, It's they're both just semi. And I don't actually even pay attention to any difference between semi-transparent and transparent. This, if you can see, here is an empty box and there's a line through the box, which would be semi-transparent. So it just depends where the light is coming from. But for me, whether it's semi-transparent or transparent, doesn't matter. What I care about is opaques. So that's how Amsterdam does it, by the way. Why don't we look at other things? Another easy one is Golden, which you know I use a lot. Um, they have their square here. So just for a tip, if whatever, first of all, like craft paints, almost all craft paints, because there's so much fillers and stuff in them, are opaque. Um, some brands aren't as easy to see if it's opaque or not. For instance, this old Holland, oh, I tried to fix my lights, but this old holland doesn't have anything on it it does have their paint swatch though which you can't even see there you go um and so what i know is let me show you the paint color most light colored paints are opaque so something like this that looks this is that yellow that looks like there's white in it is gonna be opaque and I treat it that way. Just like, <clears throat> for instance, this is what that sky blue looks like mixed up. So any, any of these light colors that look like white is added is going to be opaque. But let's look at different brands. So Old Holland um, doesn't tell you, you could look online, but for the most part, you kind of have an idea, darker paints um, mostly are going to be semi or transparent. Um, for instance, this is like a dark blue, what, what's it's called? Oh, phthalo turquoise, one of my faves. Transparent. You'll see there's no line in the box whatsoever. So let's look at different brands. This, my Schminky, very easy because there's a box, semi, right? Um, let's look at Triart. So Triart has... The initial T for transparent, O would be opaque, etc. So that's good. I have a Windsor Newton here. Windsor Newton does not say anything. Okay. Now they're, oh, I'm lying to you. <laughs> I need glasses. So look at on the back, they have their little box here. Okay. Who else we got? We have Atelier. They have their little thing here, semi. Okay. So it's not so always so hard to figure it out. 
most dark blues and dark purples, as I said, like this violet here, are transparent. One that really tricked me that I would never guess, normally some a color like this, I would say, you know, it would be transparent, but this is an opaque one. So let's talk about what I'm gonna do as for a bullseye bloom, I thought it would be really fun to layer transparent, opaque, transparent, opaque, transparent, opaque, right? Blow down and see if I could get like many multi layers in one cell, I don't know. Now there's different ways to achieve this as well, scientifically. Um, if you have, uh, maybe I'll try both. You know, I've told you before, if you have a thicker cell activator, it takes longer to develop, meaning your cells will be bigger. And I'm wondering if I use a super thick cell activator, um, if it will make these big, huge cells and causing the paints beneath to pop out and layer. I don't know. Let's try. Okay, let's just talk about the colors I'm gonna use anyway. So I have, uh, th this is the order that we're gonna do. I'm gonna start with the phthalo turquoise, transparent. Now I was looking, one of my favorite opaques is teal. Now this is an old paint and I'm pretty sure this is a teal. Um, all teals are gonna be opaque like this, okay? And then the next one is going to be, I'll use this aquamarine I just got. This is Schminky. You guys really liked this color, aquamarine. Then we're gonna go for this, um, Indian Thrin Blue. All of these Expert Series and all of these Amsterdam, by the way, you can get at Food Art Company. They're the only place in North America that has all of these, which I love. Um, then we're gonna go transparent with this transparent violet. Then one of my faves is the sky blue. I love it as an opaque. Then we're doing, I mixed this up the other day, which we love, the indigo extra. And we're gonna top it off with the old Holland light yellow, okay? So I'll try a, diff a few different things. Maybe I'll try a thick cell activator, thin cell activator, blowing down hard right away, blowing out, I don't know. All right, let's have some fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, eight inches to see, you know, what happens. Um, I feel like using this pillow today. We'll see if we get the good peacocks. Uh, anchors away, Sherwin-Williams color to go. Now, I'm gonna be using Payne's Gray Cell Activator, okay? This is my Australian Floetrol and Payne's Gray Amsterdam. For my second trial, I'm gonna see if it's gonna be different. Or if you remember the other videos, I've mixed up um, indigo. Uh, one moment, please. Atelier blue black. Okay, and it is thicker, and it does take longer to develop. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna love these blooms. Like the colors aren't great. We're just doing this for experimentation to see if we can get what we're looking for. Oh, I have to mix this up a bit. All right. So, let us see. And again, the way you blow makes a difference. So many things make a difference, you know? All right, let us start. Oh, this is too thick. Oh, hold on. That was a blue and it might be too thick. Let's see. Uh, it's okay. Oh. So, you can, when you're using opaque paints, you can't just bloop it down like that because if you don't blow into it, you're just gonna have the full color. So you have to be very careful and really drizzle your opaques and do it gingerly, like I just did. Okay. We'll try a few different things. And because, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not using pigments, I can just put the paint wherever I want rather than trying to cover the pigments. You know what I mean? So remember, this is the opaque. And the opaques do mix up a lot thicker. So you wanna be more careful with them. Okay. 
Holy Petty Blue, can I do a bullseye? I don't know. I love this color. And finally, okay, so let me get her back in the middle. While I'm here, let me do this so she spins nice. So I'm just going to blow the normal way for now, <clears throat> and we'll see what happens. And then, you know. It'll be good. <laughs> okay, and I'll just go like this. Ready? <gasps> Nothing was good about this at all. Let's discuss. paints are too thick in some areas. You can see this indigo really took over and I hardly blew into it. So let me actually see if I got some cool things going on. I did in certain areas. Um, so definitely the cells do come up the farther you blow to the side here the uh, bullseye cells. However, we have lots of problems, and this is a great example of why um, consistencies matter, especially when you're doing this. So, you know, I said my paints were too thick. This, I should have, this is like goopy. So I should have said to myself, Lisa. I mean, there's some cool, really cool stuff happening, but sometimes you've got to stop, you know? These are cool here too. So yeah, cool things happening, but let me do it better. Because all, all we're seeing in the middle is just a bunch of blue. Okay, so I've thinned that out properly. Look at this side here. Um, poor thing, you know? Okay, cool color. So that's one thing I did wrong. Let me check everything. This one, a little goopy too. Sometimes you've got to stop and... So also, I'm wondering if, because you don't really get them in the middle because I'm blowing straight down. You get them <clears throat> when you blow them out. Maybe using a hair dryer and just like blowing it to the side would work better. So maybe I'll do that. Okay, I'm not even gonna waste so much more pillow. We're just going to, do I even have a hair dryer? Hold on, before I get all excited. Um, what's going on? So I have this hair dryer, which isn't like, I have the Dutch Pour hair dryer, which I'm not, I don't think it's gonna do it. But let's try again anyways. I'm just gonna put a little more in the middle and load up again. I actually do like these colors. So we're gonna check every, see this is like a little thick, Lisa. Normally I'd get away with, I'd try it, but now I'm nervous. But at least we're learning about opacities, you know? It's very important. And as I said, these get really thick. So, mm, I'll try just, just a little bit. So you have to be careful of your opaques thickening up. Okay. How's it? Oh, see, look. Yeah, 
This can't do anything for you. It's like pudding. So, oh, by the way, I'm just adding Joe Sonia to thin it out. It's my Joe Sonia gloss. Gosh. Okay, it's still thick, but I'm just going to like carefully drizzle her like that. Okay. Like that. Also, I do have a lot of layers going on, don't I? Okay, we're okay here. And two more layers. Now she's not gonna give me a problem. And we'll see the difference that, see this is like a little thick. Okay, fine, I'll thin her out a bit. Cut, and we will drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Okay, that's it. We're gonna do her again. Okay. I noticed I put less cell activator down. So, yep, we have some cool spots, definitely. Okay, yep, I do like all the cool outlines. I'm gonna give you a close up. So you can see these outlines are pretty cool. Even in the middle there. I don't know if they're quite bullseye-ish, but they're cool. Okay, so let's spin her out anyways. Okay, so that's one thing there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep it, so maybe I'll just pour over her, but I just wanna see what the cells are doing. Um, so let's do the second activity with a thicker cell activator. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I mean, the blow wasn't fabulous, whatever, but at least we got the idea that we're kind of looking for. Maybe I will try the blow dryer. All right, let's do the blow dryer next. Definitely have some cool outlines though. I have to decide if, I, yeah, well, I'm just, I wanted to spin it out so we could look closer at the cells. Um, okay, so I'll do a close up. Like I said, like forget about where I didn't blow the cell activator properly. I should have put a little bit more, but I was like getting nervous. But I'll do a close up of these little wonky poor cells. And then we're gonna go again. I'm gonna do the hair dryer. Then I'm gonna do the other cell activator. Okay, be right back. Okay, so you can see in these like big guys what we're going for. There's some outlines here, some outlines here, some outlines everywhere. Okay, so I have my hair dryer attached. One moment. I actually really love these colors. It's funny, I didn't think I would, but they're playing nicely together. Okay. By the way, this is the um, flower power hair dryer for Dutch pores. I'm gonna be using this one though. It is very strong, but that's okay. This is my Babyliss Turbo Extreme Pro. Both of these you can find in my Amazon store down in the description there. I like different dryers for different reasons. I know that this is extra intense, but I'm hoping for the intensity to like blow Hopefully I won't blow the pillow up. I don't know, let's have fun at this point, all right? We're just gonna go like this, okay? And I'm just gonna like blow this way and see what kind of cells we get. We're gonna do the same thing. Okay. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. Maybe I'll just do 
like, <clears throat> and then after we'll do that blue. But I hope I actually get a nice blue because these colors, I like them, you know? Doopity do. <clears throat> it is March break in one week for us. I don't think in the States you guys get March break, you get spring break. For us, we get March break. We're going to Jamaica for the first time in three years. We are so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm be so tanned. So I'll be posting updates from Jamaica. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I do see <laughs> really pretty bullseyes leaving us, but hopefully I can get some more. I'm probably putting too much paint down, I know, but whatever. All right, here we go. So I'm going to do this. Okay, we're going to do this. Whoop. I don't know. Let's do it. Okay, that was a disaster, except there's only one corner that we like. I don't know why, but that this is exactly right, okay? Exactly right what we're looking for, okay? Um, so it is about the strong glow. Next time, so why don't I just blow properly instead of like on the side like that? But... So you can see in the middle how those big cells are forming because there was a big thing in the middle there. Um, but yes, so let's, while we're here, just so we can see what we're dealing with. Obviously this isn't anything, but I just wanna stretch out the cells a little bit so we can see what's up. You know, uh, cool. I do like these cells, not the big stupid ones, but these like little guys right here, really cute. Okay, let's get this, oh shoot, let's get this other thing off. I'll do it again proper. That's why these um, experiments are just fun because you can like blow paint around and learn what works and what doesn't work. And again, why the bloom is such a science depends the type of blow, the type of paint. This is actually pretty, I'm not gonna lie. I do wanna get this off here. Maybe I'll spin it a bit. Let's get her this way. I don't hate this. So there, we might keep her after all. Just getting that little corner off there. Okay, let's bring her back down here. Okay, we've still got some paint, but I I think she's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna spin. I don't like this bottom part right here. So let's slowly, carefully, because I don't want to ruin little guys i'm just slowly bringing her down again when you tilt and you're trying to make a composition oh you gotta be patient right just getting that ugly bit off okay let's bring her back up a bit there's still quite a bit of paint so i'm gonna bring her back up and then spin um Real, I, I think the cells are really neat. Okay, before we spin, let me just do this. There's a lot of paint that we're gonna spin around here. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. So not a traditional anything, but really cool. Uh, I proved my point about the hard blowing. I suppose I could, it's, a, I could do a hard blow with my mouth, but then I'd probably blow up a lot of paint. I don't know. Uh, I do want to try it again, the hair dryer again, in a better way. 
Um, but I really don't hate her. I hope you guys are like on my team about this. I'll do a close up to show you. But yes, there's like wonky cells at the bottom, but I don't really care. Like I think the little cells on top, like here are so cute. Okay, let me do a close up for you. Then I'm going to do the blow dryer again, but in a regular bloom way. Do you know what I'm gonna do actually? You know what, I hate those wonky. These things bother me a lot, but we can make them more. I've been really into drying with the wet paint, with my skewer, just to making shapes, you know, that are more pleasing that to my eye, when I see something wonky, I think there's something wrong with it. So maybe, we can pretend that things are not wonky. It's, it's a fine line though, because you don't want to make it too busy. You know what I mean? But I'm kind of making fake cells in a way, just to make it less, uh, more pleasing to the eye a little bit. I, I, I kind of like her. Okay, I'm gonna do close up, uh, and then we will do the hair dryer again. Be right back. Okay, because we like this palette so much, I think I'm gonna have to add in some pigments for the gorgeous sparkle that we want. Now, I don't know what these colors are, to be honest. This is not a pigment, so I'm gonna commit. I know I have some TLP macaw. This is the macaw. Let's see. Sometimes you don't know what these interference paints are. It's great. These are the mixing sticks from Fluid Art Company and they're black. So sometimes this actually isn't a macaw. This is sequins and I know that. That would look pretty too, but I think oh, you guys can't see in this light. It's so pretty. Uh, do I want that in here? No, I do want macaw. So I think this one must be macaw then. Let us see. It's always like a fun game. What interference is this? This is, yes, gold, green, turquoise, which you can't see any of in this light, but you will soon. So I'm gonna, should I swap one out? Um, but I like everything the way it is. I'll just throw it in there. I don't want too many paints, cause that's, you know, but a little sparkle. Never hurt anyone? Okay. I'm gonna load it in the middle because we are gonna blow hard. So I, I think I want, I've never used a hair dryer for an eight incher, which is funny. Uh, we want a bit more of a cushion for the push in. Oh, I was gonna do that blue too. Okay, let me just do the, should I do it? All right. I was gonna do another paint gray than another one with that uh, blue cell activator, but. I don't know, we've been here a while already. So, I'm gonna, I have to make a big enough pile for the hair dryer to get. I'm nervous to do a hair dryer in such a small thing, which is hilarious. I have a video, probably one of the top, top first 10 videos, I don't know, I shouldn't tell you, you guys are gonna look, it's embarrassing, of me trying to figure out how to do a hair dryer on an eight incher, okay? It was horrendous. I didn't even know it because no one told us anything back in the beginning, okay? So you know what I was using to blow? A heat gun, okay? I was blowing my paints out with a heat gun, burning the paints, 
I couldn't even blow out anything on an eight incher. I was sweating. It was horrible, okay? And I, oh my God, how embarrassing. I shouldn't have told you guys, but it's out there. <laughs> Back in the day, it was like uh, the Wild West of blooms, you know? We didn't know what we were doing. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot my piggy. I'll just put it around here. Maybe she'll stay. Okay. <clears throat> I think I will use the Payne's Gray first, okay? I don't even know how, because normally when I use a hair dryer, you know, it's like a big space, you go like this, but this is just gonna be scary. We're just gonna do it. Ugh, I'm regretting my decision. Okay, hold on. These are going to be so big. I don't want big cells right now. Really cool stuff though. You know, except for like the big ones in the middle. Oh, I have a straw. Oh, well, too late. spots. Maybe I'll do a close-up. Um, yeah, okay. Let me do a close-up. Here they are, little bullseye cells. Yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased that's kind of what we were going for, right? There's a lot of cool areas. Too bad they're going to Maybe I'll stretch it out this way. This way. No, it's, it's gonna be too much. But yeah, this is the style. So we know going bigger um, would you can get bullseye still go bigger with the hair dryer. I like it. Right. So I think mission accomplished, right? Pretty much. Um, yeah, other than the, like, I hate that middle part. Oh, oh no, it's okay, I saved her. I knew that was gonna happen. It's so slippery. Um, I'll spin gentle. So, what do you guys think? I kind of like it. I don't want to go bigger. Oh my god, I have such a big head. It's huge. Alright, fine. I'll put it in the big one. Right? Do you guys agree? Yeah. I really want to give it a good spin. So. Okay. Too much paint has been spilled today. Um, you know what? I think I'm happy with her. I think we are good for today. I'll definitely use this gray handle again. But I think I demonstrated bullseye cells, right? So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do you like bullseye cells? So I decided I did not like it. I was walking by it and I was like, no thanks. So I just threw it back on and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna throw all the colors on. I did put in the macaw at the bottom 
and I did omit that indigo on top and I just blew it out with my mouth. And of course, you know what? I think this was <laughs> the best one. So I'm actually really happy with this one. The bullseye cells came out. I mean, my blow was actually a little weird to be honest, but there are some sections that the bullseye cells are really popping. So look at that. Ooh, I zoomed right in there. See that? Look at that. Bullseye. Okay, there you go. I'm happy with my bullseye cells now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Have a good day. Bye-bye.